Welcome back to today's daily Bible reading. My name is Christian, and we're going to be reading John 8, 48 to 59. And let's go ahead and let's start. Then the Jews answered and said to him, Do we not say rightly that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father, and you dishonor me. And I do not seek my own glory. There is one who seeks and judges. Most assuredly, I say to you, If anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death. Then the Jews said to him, Now we know you have a demon. Abraham is dead and and the prophets. And you say, If anyone keeps my word, he shall never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who is dead? And the prophets are dead. Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father who honors me, of whom you say that he is your God. Yet you have not known him, but I know him. And if I say, I do not know him, I shall be a liar like you. But I do know him and keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. Then they took up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. All right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this word. Please continue to bless us, God, as we don't deserve it, but we abide in you, God, and you said everything shall be added unto us. We seek your kingdom and your righteousness, God. So I thank you for our kids. I thank you for our families. I thank you for our friends, God. There are many of them that encourage us, and we encourage them, Lord. I We praise you, and we honor you, God. Just as Jesus has said, if we keep his word, we will not taste death. And I know he's talking about more spiritual death, the second death in the lake of fire. So I pray right now that we keep your word, that you help us keep your word, God. I thank you for that, Lord. We don't worship you, God, just because we want to stay away from hell and not taste the second death, Lord. But much more of that, we want to spend time with you. We want to be where you are, God. For big decisions will come in our lives, big problems will come in our lives, but as long as we look to you, God, that's all that matters. That we look to you for safety and guidance and peace, Lord. We praise you through our struggle. We praise you through our hardships. So no matter what happens next, God, please be there and guide us in our lives, Lord. And even I I pray this today, that if you're not there, I don't want to be there, God. If there's any opportunities that come my way, I don't want to be there if you're not going to be there, God. But if you are there, please bring me to you. No matter what it may it may look like, but I want to be where you're at, God. And I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Guys, if you want to see the next video, go ahead and click on the link on the screen, and I'll see you in the next one.